everyone it's inda here from rookie journal welcome to another pen pal with me video today we're gonna make a romantic letter for my pen pal jesse in the usa i really wanted to make like a romantic valentine's kind of letter so yeah we're gonna make one today for this mail, I started with decorating the envelope. I didn't have a plan beforehand for the decoration and yeah, that's just what happened most of the time when I'm making a letter. I really love book page as like the base of the decoration. So I glued down one here, then I just went through my washi sample drawer which is full of the washi samples from my pen pals there are so many aren't they then i came across this beautiful flower washi but you will see later in the video that it will be fully covered by the things on top of it but anyway that happens sometimes as I mentioned before, I usually don't plan anything beforehand for the decoration but most of the time, I kinda knew what elements that I wanted to include and in this case, they are the girl sticker and also the fussy cut flower from a magazine and here I'm just playing around with the position until I find the balance that I like I know that pink and red are very common for valentine's or romantic theme but in here I wanted to make a softer kind of look so I am more focusing on the white and also the green another reason is I actually haven't seen Jessie uses a lot of pink so I thought this softer look will be more suitable for her Next, I'm making several options for her name because I was just not sure what type of lettering I should put I've been practicing writing with my brush pen recently for this kind of lettering and my favorite part of this kind of lettering is actually decorating it with a white gel pen from what I see it gives like more dimension and makes like a bubbly effect not sure if that's even a word but yeah I don't know I don't feel like this lettering is fitting for my envelope actually and I have another option here with like a skinny type of lettering but I don't feel this is good either Because I couldn't make a decision for the lettering, I decided just to move on with other things that I'm sure where to put. I actually really like this kind of fussy cut flowers because I think given the picture is like a real picture, I mean it is a real picture I think it gives like a vintage look and kind of gives the romantic theme more alive in my opinion I have made a couple other pen pal letters with this kind of flower I shared a lot of my pen pal letter creation on Instagram so if you haven't followed me already over there make sure to check my instagram to see a lot more than what i put in youtube because i don't film every letter that i make it would be a lot and i don't think i'm physically able to do so so yeah make sure to follow me at rookie journal underscore which you will see the spelling on the top left corner so I have this PET tape that says beautiful and it kind of gave me inspiration on how I wanted to do with Jessie's name so I kind of intended to make it like 
four beautiful Jesse. I hope that makes sense. But yeah, I think it looks so lovely, and I decided to just write the name on the label. Next, I felt like it's beautiful already, but kinda need something else. So usually when I was feeling this way, I either add more sparkles or making a border frame. And this time, I did the latter. Actually add some sparkles as well so this is the finished look of the envelope I am pleased with it what do you think do you like it as well or do you think I should put the brush pen kind of lettering so yeah please let me know for the folder, oh I'm so excited to share about this one I got this inspiration from at studio snail mail and at typewriter stories on instagram so I wanted to make one myself with a little bit of a twist the folder that I just showed you is an example of the one that I have made so today I'm gonna take you along with me to make it from the beginning first you only need a sheet of paper then you fold it from the bottom to your desired size so you can check with your envelope to make sure it will fit inside and that's what I did I'm just eyeballing it to kind of fit my envelope then you want to make the folder to have three sections so I'm just playing around with the folding here and it doesn't have to be an equal size I intentionally wanted to have one size bigger than the rest then what I'm showing you here is I have cut a triangle shape on the top of each of the fold line Apologies, I forgot to film that part but I hope it makes sense from the video Next, I glued each side of the folder with PVA glue you have three pockets now then we are on the decorating business now because we have such a large blank space here I'm just trying to glue down some big pieces first like the Japanese magazine paper a scrap of music sheet and also a part of a doily I think by placing the big pieces first, I kind of didn't get too overwhelmed with what to put and I can start building from there. This is the magazine that the flowers came from so I decided to fussy cut these flowers to match with the theme So I recently just opened a PO box because I was thinking to move to another apartment in March but turns out I didn't have to but I will move anyway in about May or June um, yeah that's a me problem but anyway I'm so surprised by 
how cheap opening PO box here in Indonesia. It's only like 84,000 rupiah, which is like 8 Australian dollar for a whole year. So yeah, I actually talked about this on my previous video about the pen pal guide. But yeah, I feel like it's so unbelievable compared to other countries. Also, if you are new to pen paling or you've been doing pen paling for a while, I do have a pen pal guide video where I share all about pen paling based on my experience for doing it for a year. I think it will be helpful for you or at least freshen up about pen pal world. I shared some guide, tips and tricks, and also how I do my letter. So link to that video is on the description down below. Back to the video, I wanted to make a label for each of the pockets and I just use scrap papers from the test print on my printer. Then I make each of the title with rubber stamps. I put letters for the center pocket, stickers for the left one, and papers for the right pocket. You can of course customize it yourself on what title you want to have. I think the title makes this folder really stands out. I'm not too sure why, that's just how I see it. I haven't tried making the title with brush pen kind of lettering or calligraphy. I think that would be cool actually. Now we have the other side of the folder which another blank space. You can actually just leave it like that or maybe write something on it. I again put a big decoration which is this music sheet and then I also have the leftover flower cuts and yeah overall i didn't put a lot of decoration for this side of the folder i mainly used the leftover here i have some stamp sample that i made ahead of time i love this flower stamp because it just looks very nice on anything. It's super versatile. I just cut them and put some as the decoration. And this is how I spice up this folder. I had this idea to bind each of the fold with a linen thread. I make handmade journals and I sell them, so I have a lot of leftover threads. So to bind this, I just use a simple three hole pamphlet binding technique. You just poke three holes like I'm showing you on the video. Then I started entering my needle from the center hole from the outside. Then you go to either the top or the bottom, it doesn't matter. I chose the top. Then you go back to the bottom or the top if you chose to enter the bottom hole after the center. Then you go back to the center to meet the other thread on the outside. I really hope my explanation is clear enough but feel free to rewind and pause the video if you need to. To finish it off, I put a knot on it. I usually put double or even triple for my journals but for this type of folder, double knot is enough. Then yeah, I just did the same thing to the other fold. For 
the final touch I just write on top of the folder with a white gel pen then I put the goodies I included this Indonesian words just for fun I think it's a great addition to give to your pen pal if they are from other country I love the fact that this folder only made out of like one sheet of paper as the base and yeah one sheet of paper is very convenient because it's very accessible and you can actually use any rectangular size so it doesn't need to be like A4 and yeah just make sure it will fit into your envelope and here I just want to share to you how I pack my letter recently I like to use another paper to kind of protect the decorated envelope I reckon one of the best one is to use a magazine paper because it is light and it doesn't add much to the weight I think newspaper is a good idea as well but it's not water resistant as a magazine paper I would say but you can always cover with a clear tape for the addresses anyway I think it's just so nice to see our envelope unharmed and you can definitely use the one that you have in your house already I use this very old thrifted magazine paper so that is it for today guys i really hope you find something helpful from this video and let me know if you try to make this kind of folder i really hope you enjoyed if you did please like this video and subscribe to me as well if you haven't already it will mean so much to me thank you so much guys for spending your time with me i'll see you again in my next video bye